How's it hanging, YouTube? Peter here, your Ginger Jordy Geek. Welcome back to the channel for another 1 6 scale action figure unboxing. This time, looking at my favourite character, the Mighty Thor, who made his first appearance in Journey into Mystery 83. Thor's been around for a long, long time, as you can imagine. He's had some incredible costume changes. He is, without doubt, one of my favourite characters. Anyone that watches the channel know I love him. So I had to have a figure. There are lots of versions available from Hot Toys. Most of them I'm not a big fan of. Um, I did pick up this version a little while ago, the Fat Thor. Yeah, the movie version of Thor is not my favourite. So I always wanted a comic version. So I've pre-bought this, but it looks like a piece of shit. So I'm not sure why I did buy it. But anyway... Um, this one I've had my eye on for a while. This is a, sh a sideshow. This is a sideshow version of Thor. It looks very cool, but it's very expensive, about £260. This one came available for £130. I can't have it. So here I have the box. Box art's really nice. It's a good image of Thor on the front there. I've got a few of these sideshow figures now, and they're always quite pleasant. Um, I love that image of the hammer being pulled out of the, or pushed out of the, um, the clouds there. It looks cool. Uh, let's get the box open. Here we've got him in his blister pack. Like I say, these sideshow figures always look pretty cool. They have this band on them. Um, this is a, a... Ooh, I like the artwork on there. Some nice Thor original imagery there from the older comics. Um, and again there. Yeah, this is, this is a cool looking figure. I like the look. This is a comic version, but it's not really a comic version. As you can see, it's kind of their own take on him. He looks amazing! Oh, He looks spectacular. No, that's Spider-Man. He looks mighty. Look at him. Just look at that costume. It's absolutely phenomenal. Now... Initial impressions, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, yes, it's not direct from comic page, but actually, I love it. You get some hands, as you usually do. Not a load of hands, but you get some really nice vein work on these hands, and you get some closed fist kind of um, things as well. So, yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. I like them. Only other real accessory you get is Molinier. This is a nice chunky Molony. I like it. You've got a nice leather kind of um, handle on him there. And, you know, the, the uh, inscription is clear to be seen. It's got the full inscription going on there. So I like that. I like that a lot. Um, I like the fact that they've actually put the inscription on the hammer itself. Um, overall, the figure, from initial view, as you can see, is pretty impressive. Like I say, the say it's a comic version. It's not really page comic version, but it looks good. Um, the boots are real nice material. There's a lot of work on the kind of the co costume and the outfit in here. I love the sewn on um, silver dials. They look, they look really cool. Vein work on the figure is spectacular. His arms are beefy as you would expect. He really does look cool. These furry kind of shoulder pads can be chucked off if you don't want them on. But actually, I like them. Face sculpt is pretty cool. A lot of people say this looks a bit like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I get that. But actually, he should be a stern guy looking viking and that's how i kind of picture him the cape is beautiful really do like that it's a nice material it drapes really well back of the cape as you can see it looks lovely this fur bit oh it touches nice furry the touchy fur, furry bit i do like i am actually going to leave that on i think hair is sculpted but it looks pretty cool the uh, the wings on the side here are beautiful white they really stand out they look lush now this is interesting you might not see it too well on camera but my figure has got some red stain marks on his arms um maybe it's why he's so cheap i think it might be the cape i'm not quite sure if your figure's got this please do let us know you can see some of these knuckles there as well that looks cool because it looks like you've been smacking someone in the face um but yeah let us know in the comments if your figure's got some of this red st staining on it and if you know how to get shifted here we've got him posed holding Molinier by the strap Initially, I thought, oh, I like that. And then I thought, actually, he looks like he's carrying a shopping bag. So, nah, not going to do it for us. Here we've got him with Molinier in his hand, looking all stern and gruff. I love the fact you can see the inscription on it there. It looks really, really good. Far better than I expected. Here we've got him holding Molinier a lot. Oh, I've spotted there's some more red under his arm here. Please do comment if you know how I can get that shifted. Because I don't think that's meant to be part of the figure. I think that's some dye somehow. This is how I'm going to have my Thor figure um, posed in my collection. I think he looks amazing. I've put Molinier through his belt here, so I've attached it through the loop. And I just like the fact it's hanging from him there. I think it looks fabulous. Very, very impressed with this figure. Like I said, I, I was on the, the, the bench with this one for a long time. I've hummed and hard about buying it. I am so pleased I've picked it up. This is one of my favourite pieces now, I think, in my collection. Okay, ladies and gents, let us know what you think of this Sideshow Thor 1-6 scale figure. Uh, thank you very much for watching. That is your whack, and I will catch you next time. Take care.